Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Keith, thanks for being thanks here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. John, tell us, what was your first impression when you set foot in the kingdom? Well, it's hard to describe the way Thailand was 30 years ago. It was such so relaxing after Hong Kong. I was working in Hong mm. Kong. Hong Kong was the most stressful country in the world after Beirut, which was at war. And you come to Thailand and it was relaxed. It was the land of smiles. And it was, um, well, it was an addiction. It was love at first sight. I've been mean, coming back pretty regularly ever since. Yeah. Big difference from Beirut to Bangkok. <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite, quite, quite the contrast. <laughs> yeah. John, what was your uh, inspiration to become a crime fiction novelist? As, as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a writer. I always wanted to write fiction. And crime fiction, well, because um, it's, it's, the po it's the pace of the narrative, I think, with crime fiction, which draws people in. And by the time I was ready to publish a book, I just think seriously about writing a book for publishing, it was thrillers, crime thrillers, police um, thrillers that were selling. That was what publishers were interested in. And there was a lot of pressure really on publishers to, um, to, to publish crime fiction as opposed to other kinds of literary fiction because people were no longer buying literary fiction. Now it's almost dead. People, uh, literary fiction hardly exists anymore. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your uh, latest release, your new book, and what some chai has been up to in uh, the Bangkok asset. Yeah, well, from the first book, um, Bangkok 8, people have been saying, well, when's he going to meet his father? Come on, you know, I told him, he told us his father was a US vet in Vietnam. When are we going to meet him? What are we going to do about it? So that's been playing on my mind for more than a decade. And finally, I thought I'd, um, I'd go at it and see, see what happens. And, it, yeah, w there was no way of going into that without going into Vietnam. And incidentally, I don't think you can live in Southeast Asia without being terribly conscious of Vietnam and, and what happened at, at that time. So I've gone um, a lot more deeply into that, into Vietnam, into history than I have in any of the other books. And it's produced for me a, um, a somewhat different kind of book. Everybody said so. It, it's mm -hmm. different. It's bigger, it's wider, it's deeper, it's maybe you know, a little bit less witty, a little bit less trying to, for, for laughs and for sensation, much more interested in going more deeply into the whole um, yeah. situation where life is now in Southeast Asia. What is your advice for young writers coming into the market, releasing their publishing, trying to get a publishing deal, their first book? Well, I mean, you really got to have a, a body of work to show. I mean, you've got the first book, that's great. If you self-publish, then um, that's a good start. But don't expect to get anywhere with just one manuscript. These days, publishers, they, re they really want to be confident that they've got some, someone they can run with, you know? Yeah. Because it, just one book, one off, it doesn't make a lot of difference to the publisher or to the author. Yeah. It's almost like having a business plan for your, your future, your first book, oh, and this is this will be a series. Or well, that's that's exactly it. I mean, you know, it's not it's not why people become novelists, but the reality is, it's a business. If you want a good publisher, and that publisher is going to invest a lot of money in you, not just what he pays, but what 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 the um, how they sell the book, you know, the advertising and the. Um, everything they pay for on the internet because a lot they of want to see return on their yeah they, they, they have to you know it's it's a business like any other john burdett thank you so much for pleasure. being on the show pleasure it's been a pleasure talking to you